This is Darren Kuhn with the Masculine Journey podcast, where we search the ancient paths to find ways that God brings light into a dark world and helps set men free from the struggles that we all face on a day-to-day basis. Your Chosen Truth Network podcast is starting in just a few seconds. Enjoy it, share it, but most of all, thank you for listening and for choosing the Truth Podcast Network. This is the Truth Network. It's a sci-fi thriller that had me turning the page rapidly, hanging on every word. It was written by a believer in Christ, and it was written with a Christian message. And his name is Herb Burns. This guy has taught. This guy has written. This guy's an artist. He's like a renaissance man, and he's a personal friend. And he even had me write a blurb in here. The Towers in a world you could not imagine. Stu, it's it's amazing. You know, in this time, in this day and time, God is pulling back the veil, and he is showing us what evil people are doing with technology. So I wrote this book about a Christian who discovers what evil people are doing with technology, and he destroys the technology. And you know, some people say, Herb, what you're writing is not science fiction. It really is real. Yeah, because you do touch on that, because there is a, you know, they call our kids nowadays, my nephew coined this word, screenagers, you know, there are a lot of screenagers out there, and there's, we're so dominated by that, and you take us into that, and you're not condemning people, because we have the Bible on our technology, we just finished Wednesday in the Word, we have thousands of people that watch this that can't be here on Facebook, and hear the good Bible study, Exodus 17, water and war, and God's, you know, Moses striking the rock, and God's, you know, nourishing his people. So there's good things about technology, but your book, you're really trying to get people to think like this unseen battle that Paul talks about in Ephesians 6. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, right? That's right. Well, let's, let's, let's back up 20 years, okay? So we're going to back up 20 years. I've always been involved with technology. So 20 years ago, I conducted an experiment on some college students using technology. So I got them in a room and they had a project to do. I gave them technology tools to use, and man, was I amazed at the results of that experiment. It led me to develop an hypothesis that's called the evolutionary technological destructionist theory. And the theory is, the more we advance with technology, the more destructive it can be to us if we allow it to be. And the other thing that I discovered, you know, if you go to a heart doctor, you get an EKG. When I was conducting this experiment on these students back then, I developed a technological EKG on those students. I was amazed. When I charted out what they did, it was just like an EKG. Every student had a similar EKG and the technology controlled that EKG. And my professor says, Herb, you need to write about this. You need to let people know what's going on. And it's still the best kept secret in the library at UNCG. Wow, well you have written Route 66. Have you ever, have you found your route in life wonderful? The 66 books of the Bible, powerful. Never stop asking, discovering, sharing. Never stop teaching. Never stop pursuing God's mission and vision for you. You've written some great books. As an educator, an international collaborator, you've served Christ in Ukraine. You've been on these missions trips. You've taught so many kids in the classroom. And most folks would think, Herb, with this kind of storied career, you are going to retire. You're going to chase a little white ball. Sit, sit, you, know, you know, dip those chubby little toes into the white sand of the beach. But no, you're writing books. You're writing a sci-fi book that had, has all kinds of people stirring called The Towers. Talk about why you wrote this book at this time in your life. Well... Just imagine if you're driving from North Carolina to Virginia and you don't have your travel passport, the electrical G5 towers will shut your car down. That's where technology's going. Imagine your cell phone. I put my cell phone in my pocket and oddly enough, I have this little twitch on my leg where I keep my cell phone. Folks, that's giving off an electromagnetic pulse. Imagine the room that you're in right now. There are electromagnetic magnetic waves penetrating that room, penetrating our atmosphere. People can't see them, 
but it's out there and it's affecting us. Yeah, and it's really interesting because it's coming to a point where we talk about nothing, no one can buy and sell without the market of the beast and that. Well, the way they're trying to do these digital wallets, yeah. if, if you post something pro-life on your social media, Herb, just saying, hey, well, I believe, you know, marriage between a man and a woman. I believe, you know, that a child has a right to live and we don't need to kill our young in this country. Yeah. If that's connected with the social media, the AI that's out there can connect that instantly and say, but supposing you have your your phone and you want to pay with your phone and you go to pay for something very important like food and you know water and bread and it denies you the purchase yeah. until you can go take that change that post you put on social media supporting god's view of marriage but, but this isn't unrealistic this is literally happening where people are being turned away if just like if you turned away if you weren't vaccinated you're turned away just they're they're making this this e-wallet thing that nefarious but your book is very prophetic as you talk about what's coming that's exactly right. And if you get an opportunity, Google something called the Blue Beam Project. And the Blue Beam Project is a project where scientists are developing a way to project holographic images into the sky to make you think that the second coming of Christ is about to happen. Wow. And that's using technology to lead you to a false, a false god that's coming. So, Herb, you've written this book, Herb Burns, The Towers, in a world you could not imagine. And it's so much of this is surreal because we're seeing these technological manifestations everywhere. Quickly, why should someone get this book right now, get it for their grandkid? Why should people read this book, uh, in your opinion? Give us a quick plug for the book and challenge us. Obviously, we don't want to give away the whole plot and the, you know, the, the ending, but give us a quick rationale. Okay, a quick rationale is... There are evil people in our society today that are using technology to con control a society. And this book hopefully will open your eyes, make you awake and not woke as to what's going on with technology today. And the bottom line is God is in control of everything. And there are, are Bible verses throughout this sci-fi book. That's the truth that's in the yeah, book are the Bible verses. So this Christian remains a Christian, a solid Christian throughout the story. And he takes down the technology and tries to escape. And you need to go on this journey to discover what's happening with technology and particularly the cell phone that I'm speaking into today. That's right. So Monday I'm doing an author talk at the King Library, and I hope there's no Secret Service people there taking notes as I reveal some of the secrets <laughs> in this book. All right, author Herb Burns. The book is The Towers in a World You Could Not Imagine. It's a sci-fi thriller from a Christian perspective, and his website is his name, Herb Burns, B-U-R-N-S dot com. And he's written several other books you can learn about there. He's an award-winning Christian author, artist, architect, public speaker, educator, businessman, very successful as a parent and a, f a husband himself. And your wife actually taught my children at Calvary Day mm -hmm. School. We, we love Mrs. Burns. What a blessing she's been to she's, so many kids. She's my editor, too. There you go. Well, my, that's, yeah. that's why I knew this was a winner. You know, <laughs> Forget the author. The editor is one that's making some music oh, yeah. here. But what a blessing you are. And you know, this is, this is really neat, what's happening here. Look at all these guys praying with each other, Amen. these conversations, these two young men, iron sharpens iron. We got a Gideon right here. What about this guy as an author? Uh, Larry, you're sharing the gospel everywhere you go, but seeing him write a book to share the gospel with a lot of people is powerful, isn't it? Oh, yeah. He's, he's definitely inspired me. He, he sure has through his book. And, and being in one of his books is as well, well I tell you, Larry has a story in my book, Never Stop Pursuing God's Mission and Vision, and he talks about being a Gideon and how he was led to share the salvation with others. So many have come to Christ just by picking up that book, the yeah. Bible, the Gideons have left in hotel rooms and everywhere else. Her Burns. Oh, wait a minute. I got yes, one more thing. Real quick. Yes, sir. We're at, almost out of time, but go ahead. Yeah, Truth Talk, Stu Epperson. Go ahead. Yeah, so we're talking to Stu Epperson. He has a book called The Last Words of Jesus. So make sure you get that book and take a look at it as well. See, I'm trying to promote his book. This guy <laughs> selflessly, graciously is promoting mine. What a kind man, but what a good friend. But it's neat to see these men in Wednesday and the Word getting together. That's why it's a little bit loud. We're in Dario. We're not in the studio. And we're on this technological device that has actually pretty good clarity yeah. for recording. And we're with Herb Birds. Herb, your challenge to the next generation about following Jesus, about leveraging technology to post a verse, a Bible verse on Instagram, to lead someone to Christ on social media, to go to our Share the Truth Now 
truth.com website to share the truth, to pass out these little share the truth cards with the QR codes. What's your challenge in leveraging? What do you say to these young people out there listening? Well, I hope I get a message to be able to share at the Salt and Light Conference. I'm, I'm waiting for a response. And my message is, in these times, never stop pursuing God's mission and vision for you. Look at yourself. Look at the Bible. Look for opportunities and look at what other people are doing. And you will be led. All you have to do is communicate with God and he will tell you what you need to do. Love it. Go to HerbBurns.com. H-E-R-B-B-U-R-N-S.com. Get this book. You'll love it. You'll enjoy it. Buy several copies. The Towers by Herb Burns Jr. Longtime friend, mentor, man of God, and regular here at Wednesday in the Word. And he's blessed us with all kinds of books, especially this newest one, which if you like sci-fi, you need a good page turner for the beach trip, but something that has scripture that's going to challenge you to grow closer to Christ. This is a great book for that. Herb, thank you, man. What a blessing. Thank you, Sue. Appreciate it. This is the Truth Network.